Hello, my welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the affinity, please help me subscribe to my channel, click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2003 Infinity FX 45 1.5 the uh, V8 uh, engine. So right now the uh, car has a check engine light. Um, the check engine light is on right there, and the uh, code is P0335. That's a crank sensor. So now sometime the car would uh, give me a long extended crank. Sometime it would crank up right away. Sometime it would take about like three second, four second for the engine to start, and uh, it takes a long time. That one's kind of long. We try it, it, it did it to me a couple times, but not a lot. We try it again, see if it's long extended crank. Yeah, that one's kind of long, a little bit long, but uh, I'm gonna show you the problem. So here I typed in the code. Now I'm gonna follow the uh, step procedure to diagnose it. So uh, it's a three wire connector. It's gonna be, uh, the first thing I'm gonna check is I'm gonna have key on, check for the red wire, which is, uh, you're gonna look for the uh, battery voltage. So if that one is good, you're gonna go to the uh, black wire. You're gonna look for the ground still with the key on and you're gonna look for 0 0.05 volt or less. And then if that's good, you're gonna go to the uh, yellow wire. You're gonna go to the yellow wire and then you're gonna look for at least a 10 to 11 volt. And then from there, um, if it's good, you're gonna go inside the car, kinda slightly um, tap the key, turn the key over a little bit for the engine to rotate a little bit to see if it maintain the uh, 10 to 11 volt right here. For this one, the customer, he tried to change out the uh, crank sensor. He told me he changed out the crank sensor already, but he changed out the aftermarket one. Usually for Infiniti and uh, Nissan, you wanna change it out, especially with crank sensor and cam sensor, you wanna change them out with the OEM. So uh, for the aftermarket one, sometime it doesn't work, check engine light will come back, but uh, I'm gonna do my diagnostic now. So uh, the first thing we're gonna check for is, remember you're gonna have key on, okay? Uh, the red wire, you're gonna look for 12 volt, so, I back probed it. You're gonna look for the uh, battery volt. So it's gonna be 12 volt. Right there, you can see it says 12, that's good. Then I'm gonna go to my uh, black one. I'm gonna go to the black one right here. I'm gonna look for um, 0 0.05 volt or less for the uh, ground. So I'm gonna touch it. There you go, you can see it says zero. So that's good. I'm gonna go to the uh, yellow one. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the yellow one to see if it have 10 or 11 volt. Should be between there. There you go. It has between there over 10. You can see it says 10.3. So it's between 10 volt and 11 volt. So now I'm gonna go tap the uh, key, rotate it a little bit to see if it maintain the. Uh, uh, voltage on the yellow wire you can see I still have the key on so my next step I'm gonna kind of rotate the key a little bit uh, to turn the uh, engine over a little bit not start the car but uh, if you accidentally start the car that's okay too but uh, just uh, kind of rotate the key to let the engine turn over a little bit there you go that's good enough after you rotate the uh, key to turn the uh, engine over a little bit uh, you're still gonna keep checking the yellow wire to see if it maintain the uh, signal uh, from uh, 10 volt to 11 volt. So I'm touching it right now. So it's, it's still saying 10.3. So that's good. So that means this sensor is bad. So sometime it does it to me. I have all the correct reading for all three uh, wires. Um, what happened is uh, when you use aftermarket sensor, uh, when you turn on the engine, uh, Infinity and Nissan is very picky. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the signal. If you buy the cheap one, it doesn't pick up the signal right. So you're, you're going to be getting the check engine light code and you're going to be getting a long extended crank. So that's why um, um, the engine throws the check engine light and sometimes it cranks. Uh, takes a long time to crank. So I already bought the OEM sensor. I'm going to put it in. Uh, I'm gonna take the connector out to check the pin inside, make sure there's not uh, damage or broken or anything, just to make sure 
I got the connector already, so you're gonna press the green tab in and then pull the connector out. Check the pin inside. The pin inside is good. No corrosion, no damage, no bent. Wires in the back is good. Just a slight poke right here from the back when I'm checking it, but that's okay. Uh, since this one is aftermarket, he replaced the aftermarket, I'm gonna replace it with the OEM. For the uh, crank sensor, you're gonna take out the 10, shove in the uh, flathead right here, pop them out. There you go. Uh, here I got my uh, original one. So this is my original Hitachi for the uh, part number, which is this one. And the sensor is gonna cost you around about a hundred bucks. Now I'm gonna put back the uh, sensor. And then I'm gonna mount it back. There you go. I'm gonna tighten it down. For the connector, you just connect them back and then it'll push the uh, green lock back to tighten it. Oh, I mean to lock it. There you go. Give it a pull. It's locked. That's good. Now I'm gonna clear the check engine light. Now I have my key on. I'm gonna show you the code one more time. I don't have my big scanner right now, so I'm gonna use a small one. That's the code. Same thing. I'm gonna erase the code. Now most of the time, people, they uh, replace the uh, crank sensor, especially with the Nissan and the Infiniti. Uh, the car is very picky. It has to be original uh, part. So make sure you guys buy them OEM. I want to see if it uh, still does a long crank or not. Starts up right away. It's very good. I don't care about the needle flopping. I just care about the check engine light. Let me try it one more time. Starts up right away. That's really good. So uh, most of the time, it's because people buy the aftermarket sensor. But if you buy the original one, it should solve the problem. But uh, that is it for this video, guys. So if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But I'll see you on the next video. No matter, I'm out. Peace.